All right, four quick examples on the angle addition postulate. Uh, let's get started with number one. Uh, the given information here tells us that the measure of angle ABD is 56 degrees. So we'll go down here, and all you do is you write in 56. And the measure of angle DBC is 60. And your job is to find the measure of angle ABC. Now the angle addition postulate tells us quite simply that these two acute angles, since they make up the bigger angle, all you need to do is add them together to get the measure of the entire angle. So it's 56 plus 60, which of course is 116. Simple as that. So if we go down here to example number two, now we have a little bit different given information. All right, in this example, we're given that the whole measure of angle RTU, that's 91 degrees, and this little angle right in here, I'll use a different color, I'll use green. This little angle right in here is, I'll point an arrow to it, is 20 degrees. Let me undo that here. 20 degrees. All right, and your job is to find the measure of angle, in this case, RTS. Angle RTS is as you can see, the difference between the whole angle and the little green angle. So even though it's called the angle addition postulate, sometimes you actually have to do some subtraction. In this case, angle RTS, which maybe I'll put in a different color here for you, is 71. And you can check that pretty easily. If you go back, you just take 71 plus 20. 71 plus 20 is 91, which is the whole thing. All right, moving on, example number three. All right, so up here, let's use some, some algebra. <clears throat> the measure of angle QHL is 9x plus 6. The measure of angle LHW is 7x minus 2. And the whole measure, this is given, the measure of angle QHW, let's say is 148. All right, and your job simply is to find uh, the value of x. So what we'll do is we'll take our angle addition postulate, which says 9x plus 6 plus 7x minus 2 is equal to the entire angle. And you solve it. So we combine our like terms, 9x, 7x is 16x, plus 6 minus 2 is positive 4, is equal to 148. So we'll subtract minus 4. I'll take it over here. 16x is equal to 1. 44 and you divide so let's see uh, it's 144 divided by 16 we'll get your final answer that is 9 All right, and if you check that answer a little work back in here 9 times 9 is 81 and 1 is 87 7 times 9 is 63 63 minus 2 is 61. So you add those together, 87 and 61, it's 148. So that checks out. All right, last one. Down here we have something a little bit more complicated now. We're going to be given the fact that the whole angle, I'll draw a big arrow. This is more like example 2. Uh, that's equal to 12x plus 10. 
this angle right in here, I'll put in orange, uh, angle NJR, uh, let's say that's angle, that's measure 60 degrees, and let's use red, this angle right here, use three arches for that, uh, that is 5x minus 1. All right, and your job here again is to find the value of x. All right, so I'll take it over here. We know the whole thing is 12x plus 10. So what you do is you use the angle addition postulate, 5x minus 1 oops, plus the orange one, which is 60, is equal to the entire angle. And you do some solving here. We have uh, variables on both sides. So what I'm going to do is, uh, first thing I'm going to do is actually combine these constants. 5x plus 59 equals 12x plus 10. And then I want to use uh, sort of a little trick that uh, you should have learned last year. When you have uh, variables on both sides, identify the coefficient that is the biggest. In this case, 12 is a, certainly a bigger coefficient than 5. We're going to keep that one there and we're going to move the 5x over. To move a 5x over, you do its opposite, which is negative 5x. So they'll cancel out, leaving us with 59 is equal to 7x plus 10. And we have two more steps here. We're going to subtract 10 from both sides. And that leaves us with, I'll bring it right here, 49 is equal to 7x. Of course, we want to get that 7 out of there, so we're going to do the opposite of what it is. Right now, it's a multiplication, so we're going to divide by 7. All right, when you plug that back in again, it should work out nicely. Let's see. Uh, we'll plug this x goes right here, and it goes down here, so let's plug in both. Uh, I'll do this in a little different color here, so we can see. I'll do it in a green. Uh, 12 times 7, let's see, is 84 plus 10, 94. This is 60, that's easy. Uh, 5 times 7, that's, let's see, that's 35, minus 1 is 34. All right, so if we add the orange one, 60 plus 34, that should be the whole thing, and it is. Alright, so those are four quick examples on angle addition postulate.